Hey guys, Christine Ibarra here. Check out this crazy eye. It looks good, right? I gotta make this other eye look like that. So that's what I'm gonna do on this video. I also need some foundation and some lips and stuff too. So, um, when you hop on, comment below and say hi. I'm gonna share this video really quick before I get started. Make sure that I'm live. Looks good. Hi, Britt. My scrolly button doesn't want to work. Let's share. Hey. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette today. Oh my gosh, my laptop is being slow. Like super slow. Needs to keep up with me. Hey, Melissa. I told my husband that he should download a game for my son. And ever since then, it's been acting funny. I'm like, hun, you fix computers. Fix mine. Make it amazing. He's my free IT. Okay, cool, so let me share. Sorry guys, my laptop is so slow. Like literally I'm typing in letters. I need to restart it. It's okay, almost done. I am super excited to show you guys this eye look. I um, can stare and stare at this palette and go, I don't even know where to begin. Everything is so pretty. So I try to like do some swatches on my hand and see what colors look good together. And so that's what I did today. Uh, page I manage. Okay, last one, I swear. And click. Okay, so let's get going. I am going to recreate this eye look on this eye and then I'm gonna do my foundation and um, Oh yeah, I gotta get this brow too. I got one brow done. Doesn't this one look awesome? I have fallen in love with using the um, 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray with an angled brow brush and um, a shadow to dip it in. And that's all I've been doing and it's been looking pretty darn good. So I kinda like it. Thought I would share that with you guys. So I have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer on. I've used a little bit of concealer three and concealer zero. Concealer three, this is zero, one, two, three. Concealer three is a little bit dark for me, um, but I like the shade of it, so I mixed these two together a little bit for the top of the eyeshadow primer. And um, I think maybe I'll do my brow first because I just like the way um, it looks better when I do my eyeshadow if my brow is done. And then we're gonna do foundation and lips. So let's do that. I got music in this ear. That's why I'm a robot on this side because I can't play music without going to Facebook jail, but I hate it when it's quiet, you know? So when you hop on, comment below and say hi, and let me know where you're watching from. Get my little black box. I really like um, using Lavina Mocha Perfect Eyeshadow. This one right here for my brows. This one's brownie points, but it's a little bit more warm, whereas La Vida Mocha is kind of like a cool brown. Okay, so I got my brush wet, and I'm gonna dip it in the shadow. And if you guys have seen my, um, hi April from Indiana. If you guys have seen my brow tutorials, what I like to do first is I like to line the bottom and I try to get like a straight line straight across to the arch first and then I line the top and 
And I like to try to thicken it a little bit on the bottom there because I have kind of, I need to grow some more in right here. And then, so I have that lined. Now I'm gonna start right here and go across. And I don't need to add a lot of that finishing spray because it keeps it pretty damp, but I just keep kind of adding um, shadow. This is always the hardest part right here. Trying to get that good shape right there because I don't have that natural shape to guide me. It kind of dips in a little bit. And then once I have a good outline, just start filling it in. How is everybody today? Hi, Michelle. Okay. So now I am, I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more, get it a little darker. Okay, and then now that I've done that, I'm going to take that line right there and I'm just going to push it up and blend it. Ta-da! Brows be done. I don't use concealer to clean up my brows because it's just way too much work. Like, no. Doing the brows like this is good enough for the world. It's good enough for me, you know? Okay. So, let's get this these eyes looking the same. So, I'm going to use my, um, let me grab a tissue. I'm going to use my my Morphe R35 to start with the transition color. Zuh, there's two, and I'll tell you what they're called. So here are the colors that we're gonna be using today. Um, let me see, let me use my cheat sheet here. Okay, I used, oh, I don't even know what this stands for, but this one right here is called MFEO. Goodness knows what that stands for, I have no idea. MFEO, the fourth one over. Um, and then I also used this one right here. It's called Pooter. <laughs> these are my two transition colors right here. So I'm going to start with those. I used both of these turquoise colors. And then I also used um, this one right here. It's called Chip. So I think that's five colors. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lighter one. Um, MFEO, and I'm just gonna get that all over this blender brush here, and I'm gonna put that in the transition area. Now the way I do my eyeshadow, sometimes I just have one transition and sometimes I have two. And if I have two, I'll do like an upper transition and a lower transition. But I'm self-taught, so there could be professional terms for those areas, but I believe they're transition areas. So, whatevs. Hey, Dana. Playing with my Jaclyn Hill palette today. I had been seeing all these gorgeous turquoise eyes. So, that's what I'm going for. So this is MFEO, and I just kind of take it all over the place. I have both of the turquoise colors on my eyes. This um, Pool Party and Jada. I use the matte on the bottom, and then I put a little bit of the shimmer on top. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna move to the bottom transition color, um, Pooter. Pooter. So it's going to darken it just a little bit. Okay. 
check that out just a little I have hooded eyes so I have to kind of darken up this foldy flap thing up here to make it look like I have a crease okay Ow. Okay, so I got my two transition colors. So now I'm gonna get a flat brush because I like using a flat brush for the lid. Where'd my flat brush go? Oh my gosh, somebody is toying with me. Really, really, I have all my brushes here. Did I drop it? Hold on, folks. Here it is, it's hiding. Okay, so I'm gonna use this flat brush and I am going to get Jada, the matte turquoise. And I'm gonna put that on the lid. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm listening to tunes. Okay, so I'm gonna put this all over the lid. Remember guys, you gotta use, um, you have to use eye primer. And I like using concealer on top of that because it kind of gives your eyelid like a smooth, even tone, especially cause like I have some dark veins and stuff in there. You need to use eye primer so that your shadow will like show up and look even. Otherwise it'll look super light. Okay, so I'm taking this down to my lash line. I really need to bring my light forward because mama can't see. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So pretty, look at that. Okay. We're just patting it all over, making sure it's even. And then I'm gonna get a crease brush and I am going to get chip which is kind of like, like a really, really dark mauve. I wanted to incorporate um, mauve or like kind of like a purplish color with the turquoise because I think it looks really pretty together, those two colors. So I'm just gonna put this in the crease and then I'm gonna work it up. So I have to kind of put this higher than, um, than normal because like I said, I got hooded eyes, so I have to like move it up. April, this is more of a brown. It's like a really dark mauve brown. Oh, you're talking about the um, turquoise? This is a little bit darker. I'll show you. So the Lottie Dazzle palette has, um, I think this one's called Kyoto. 
um, this really pretty bright turquoise. I don't have any, um, what you call it, primer on my hand. This one's a little bit darker. You think this one's turquoise and then you put this here and you go, oh, it looks like light blue. But they're both turquoise, just one's more blue and one's more green. Okay, so I'm getting this color on here. And you guys, I need your help deciding which lip color to wear. I don't know whether to go light or dark. Or like, not dark, but like medium. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a blending brush. This is a pointed blender, M412. I'm gonna put a little bit of that product on there. And I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'm also gonna go back to that first blending brush, R35, and I'm gonna get a little bit of that very first color on there and just blend. And then I'm also going to wipe off the brush and just do a little bit of this. That way I have no harsh lines. I like the color to fade into my skin color. Yes, I have hooded eyes majorly. You are very welcome. Okay, so. a little white right there okay the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that flat brush with the turquoise and I'm gonna get um, pool party which is the shimmer I'm gonna put that on top of the lid Just give it a little shimmer, brighten it up a little bit. It's almost the same color. So see, I have to be careful to make sure that I get this area right here darkened in the crease. Because when I relax my eyes, it changes shape. And you know, I'm not always gonna be like, so. Hi, Deanna. Okay. I'm gonna get a Q-tip. I'm gonna get this turquoise right here. I still need to do the bottom lash line, but I like to do my foundation and concealer first. What up, girl? Okay, the other thing, I don't remember if I said this. But this one right here, the very first top left, it's called In Light. I'm gonna use that under the brow. To highlight. And um, inside corner. This really makes you look awake. It's gonna look way better when I get my foundation done, I promise. Let's blend this. I feel like I put a lot on, but I don't know if that's just the light or what. Just trying to get them to match, you know? Okay. So let's do this. Let's get some foundation on so we can really see what everything looks like. I am a mixture of two foundations. Now I could probably just use olive one, but I like, 
I just like it better when I mix a, like mostly olive one and a little bit of Shinto one. So I'm going to put some olive one on my hand. A little bit of Shinto one. I have my damp blender full ready to go. So I'm going to mix it with my finger. My hand is like an artist palette. It's like crazy. Try not to get the lipsticks on my face. Okay. So I also used our first base makeup primer spray and then I used um, Dr. Brandt's Pores No More on top of that. Okay, so I got my damp blender full and I'm going to blend this all in. Put some product on there too. This is where the magic happens. Oh, I gotta do eyeliner. Almost forgot. Hey, hi Alex. I'm going glam today. Would you believe that this is just mascara? You know, when I, um, I look at this palette and I think, oh, I want to do this eye and this eye and it's going to be so glam and so pretty. I should do fake eyelashes. And then I'm like, ah, I just don't want to deal with it, you know? So I'm like, let's see how my lashes look today. Let's see if I get a good lash day. And then if I don't, then I'll put on some falsies. But then I always end up having good lash days. So I don't have to. And I love having, like, I don't know, this is just lately, but I love having, like, drama on the top and just very, very subtle, if not, like, nothing on the bottom. I don't know. For me, the way my, my eyes are shaped and my face, I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger when I have a lot of drama on the top and drama on the top, nothing on the bottom, you know what I mean? Okay, let's get the forehead. Now this foundation is 50% pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So pretty, I love this color combo for the eyeshadow. You can also mix your um, foundation with concealer. So that would be good for like a little bit extra coverage. And then also it's good for if you're like gonna be outside in the heat, like for example, Texas is so hot and disgusting right now. Um, so if you're going outside and you want your makeup to last, you can always mix it with your concealer and then make sure to use that 10 years younger finishing spray and it will last through the heat and sweat and all of that because the concealer is waterproof. It doesn't play, you know? Okay. So let's do this. I don't know if you've got, if you guys have seen me do this before. Let me grab a new tissue. I get a plain tissue and I put it on top of my blenderful and then I just dab it very, very gently over my foundation and it'll, don't worry about these under eye things I got going on because I'm going to use concealer there. Um, this picks up the extra foundation and helps keep your makeup on all day and makes it look natural. So just a little bit and let me think here. Okay, I need to do eyeliner before I forget. I forgot to do it on this eye. This is the fun part. I am using hard candy liquid eyeliner because I ran out of the other one and I'm sick of the gel. 
I'm sick of it. I'm going to get a new, um, what is it called? The brush that we have, that Limelight sells, it's like a bent liner brush, and I am getting that. It is in my cart, and it's ready to go. It has a really good point like this for gel, so I'm excited about that. I gotta get that. So let's get this wing on. I don't have very good luck with liquid eyeliner. For some reason, it doesn't want to draw on my eye. Whoops, there's my mascara. It's like this all the time now. Maybe I just need to press harder, huh? I feel like it's so much more work to like. This is why I always end up using the gel because you can dip in the gel. Well then let's try something. We're getting crazy now. Okay, okay, we can work with that. This is ridiculous. Plus, I'm left-handed. Okay. This is going to do... It will do, folks. Yep, it's gonna do. It's gonna do good. Okay. Wings are always painful for me. Ugh. So, let's hydrate. Let's get, um some concealer on under the eyes. This is where we're really gonna see a huge difference. Now I like to mix a little bit of concealer zero and concealer two together for my under eyes to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So let's put on some two. And zero. Oh no, I don't like live music. I know I am weird, right? I'm like so sensitive to pitch and tone that if it's not perfect, it drives me crazy. Like the recording, you know? Okay, so let's clean up this wing. Go up to the bottom lash line. Look at that. I haven't even blended it yet. What a difference that makes. Wow. 
What a difference. Let's get some Perfect Press Powder. It's in my little black box here. This baby right here. I'm gonna use a dry blender full, or a blending bed, I mean, and I'm gonna look up to set this. Set the concealer. When you look up, it helps like um, prevent creasing and wrinkles. Look at that difference, oh my gosh. This is like, hi, I'm so tired. I'm a tired mom. Okay. You guys, I seriously feel like I need to take a picture of this. So I think I'm going to leave this the way it is so I can take an after picture. Um, so I'm sorry you have to look at that. <laughs> Let's get my big puff brush and do some contouring. I'm using the perfect bronzer <clears throat> right here. Hey guys, when you hop on, say hi and comment below. Tell me where you're watching from. Let's get rid of this old woman face right there. What a difference that makes. <clears throat> I used to like contour all the way across the top of my forehead and I started just focusing on the sides and I really like it better. Contouring the nose. And you guys, I have something special going on. I have a couple of things special going on in my makeup lounge, so make sure you get over there and check it out. Um, can't give you any details in this video, but you gotta go check it out. And today is the last day. Also too, we just had some things come back in stock. The One Drop Wonder, the Calm Bomb Moisturizer, which smells like straight up cucumber. And then a couple of collections too, so. Check that out on my website. I'll post the link below if you like. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I just don't know what's going on with my voice. This is blush three. I really like this one. I'm just gonna put a little bit on top of my contour. Kind of bring it in a little bit. Can you guys, are you freaking out? Like, look how good this concealer is. I'm freaking out. I'm going to use some blush six, this little baby right here for my highlight. Super pretty. Oh, oh, I love it. <gasps> yes, 
I need that little black box. Thank you. Yes, Lucy, you need it. It's really good for travel too. A lot of the times I keep, because I have like a lot of stuff, so you know, I keep a lot of blushes in like the, the thing here for consultation. So I have all my blushes in one spot, all my foundations in one spot. But we went um, out of town last weekend, so I have some things that I wanted to take with me all in here. And so it's really handy for travel. The next thing I wanna get for travel is that Ricky mirror. It's a little skinny mirror. It'll hold your phone for you. Um, the light is adjustable. It's so bright. So like right now I'm using a huge ring light. I can't take that with me like on a plane or you know in a hotel. So I really want to get that Ricky mirror. This little black box that um, is magnetic, I will post a link for you, Lucy, on, um, it's, you can get it on my website. And it's not expensive either. Okay, so we did, let's see. Let's do some mascara. I dropped it. Oh, mailman's here with my sample supplies. You guys, I am, he's gonna knock. You're welcome. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, I have some catalogs. So I am going to be working on samples today after I finish this video. And let me know if you want samples and a catalog because I can mail them to you. I also have a questionnaire too, like to personalize your samples to your skincare and color preferences. I feel like I need to move this over here. There we go. This right here is the Perfect Mascara. Um, it is by Limelight by Alcone. It has built-in fibers, so it extends the length and um, increases volume, but it's only one step, so you don't have to, you know, go back and forth between multiple tubes. <gasps> Thank you, Jessica. I gotta close my eyes for this. I swear these lashes, I think they're longer than my other eye. Love, love, love this mascara. And then I also recently fell in love with this heated eyelash curler that I have. So what I do is I do my mascara and then I let it dry and then I use the heated eyelash curler and I like those results the best. So we'll put some mascara on the bottom of this eye. I wonder if I should put some color on the bottom. So pretty. I love this stuff. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of color on the bottom lash line. Let's get, these are my favorite Morphe brushes for the bottom lash line, these two right here. This one is a pencil brush here, has a little point, and then this is just like a really itty bitty tiny little blender. Um, so these are M431 and E36, E36. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna get those lighter, shoot, I don't know, maybe I should do some turquoise. I don't know. 
Okay, this is what we're gonna do, change a plan. We're gonna use this one, the um, E36, and I'm going to get turquoise. So it is, I used both of them on the top lid, but I'm gonna use Jada right now for the bottom. Right up against the waterline, not on the waterline, but right up against it. I have to be careful not to go nuts on the bottom because I have like big cheeks. So when I smile, I don't have a lot of under eye, you know, so I can't like smoke it out a lot like some people can. It kind of makes my eyes look heavy. Now, I, yeah, mm -hmm. ooh, hold on, I got a fiber. Because I'm messing with my lashes, it came out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that pencil brush and I'm gonna get, let's go with the um, MFEO, that top lightest transition color, and we are gonna blend. Hi girls, when you hop on, comment below and say hi. Let's do, um, I feel like I have a fiber. Let's do a little bit of the shimmer pool party on top of that matte turquoise. Just a little bit of color. And I may put some uh, liner on the bottom waterline. Come on, fiber, where you be? Look, okay, so you guys that are just hopping on, I have concealer and perfect press powder underneath my eye on this side, and I don't have any concealer on this side. And I'm gonna leave it this way because I have to take a picture. It's like crazy difference, you know? So, what do you guys think? Should I do black on the bottom waterline, or should I do nude i don't have white i don't do white on the bottom i can do nude let's see what it looks like i could always do black on top this is just really kind of natural it doesn't really change it too much just kind of takes the pink away So, super natural. Or I could do black. I kind of feel like I should do black. Okay. I don't know, I will mess with that in a minute. But for now, let's choose our lip color. What do you guys think? This is Beeper, Times Square, Midi, or um, my Dark Nude Enduring Lip Liner. All four of them are matte. I kind of feel like, oh Lucy, I'll put some black on there. I kind of feel like 
like I want to try something different. Let's do beeper. Let's do it. But if I don't like it, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to change it. Hold on. Hey, Jeanette. What's up, girl? Sometimes I end up liking lighter colors over darker, but I don't know. This is super pretty. I need to like straighten this so. out. My lips are like different. This one has way more like curve and roundness and this one's like super straight. Okay. Is that good? You have to know when to walk away, dude. Okay, so check out the difference. I'm gonna do a couple of things and I'll post an after shot in the comments below, but check out the difference between my under eyes and check out the difference between my lashes here. So crazy, I need to use my heated eyelash curler. Did I turn it on? No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to give myself some finishing spray. To keep this makeup on in the Texas heat. Okay. I'm gonna finish up this other half and I will post a comment below I mean a picture below. Yes, I I think I'm gonna do black on the bottom waterline. We'll see. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me a message. I would love to help you. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great Monday.